believe what just happened. The weirdest thing, a couple of girls in my 10th grade class told me I have a nice butt. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's check it out. Stand up. Stand up, Let's see what they're talking about. Woo What's the matter, sir? I'm just really upset. I was just in the lunchroom, Chad Elwell came in, and everybody started commenting on what a nice butt he has. I hate that guy. Do you know, one of my students used him as a butt double for me in their movie. That is so rude. Tell me, what's wrong with this butt? Well, it looks perfectly fine to me. Yes, that's 39 years of ass perfection there. You know what you need to consider? What? This new procedure, the Brazilian butt lift. Really? Yeah, everyone in Hollywood's doing it now. Really? Yeah. Let's see. I think you have just enough girth to do it. I think so? Yeah. You're perfect. Do you know how much it costs? It's about $2,000. You know, I think I could only afford about a grand right now. Well, maybe they can do one cheek at a time. No one's ever commented to me on what a nice butt I and I and I'm thinking that it's probably because you know it, it's I'm middle aged now and how old are you? I'm 48. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Girls. Girls, can I ask you something? Sure. Sure? Uh, okay. What do you think of my butt? Some of the kids have commented that you're kind of buff and everything, and well, um, you know, I'm feeling some middle age anxiety, and I was just hoping you could maybe, you know, set me on a track for just kind of bulking up and maybe, you know, adding some muscle. Mm -hmm. so yeah. Why don't, why don't we? Uh, why don't you start here on the bench press and give it a few tries, and I'll be over here. I'm just going to do a few more curls, and and uh, why don't you get set up on here? Yeah. Okay. What do I do? Uh, just raise the bar. And then what? And then bring it down to your neck and kind of do a couple of pushes. And when you hit about 50 or 60 or so, uh, let me know. Then okay. that'll, that'll get you started. Okay. Okay. If you get spotted or anything, uh, let me know. I want to change my image a little bit. I, I, I need to do something, and I, I heard through the grapevine that you have uh, a nipple first. Yeah, that's true. Did it hurt? A little bit. It wasn't too bad at first. Uh, as days went by, I realized... Days? Oh, yeah. I mean, I could barely wear shirts. The pressure on top of it was very bruised and... and It, it took a while before it really healed up. It's okay. Okay. Can we put it away now? Please. Okay. I understand you have a tattoo and, you know, well, 
I'm thinking about doing that myself, and I was wondering maybe if you could give me a little, you know, advice. Sure. Uh, yeah, I got one two years ago when I was named the, the varsity baseball coach. It's actually an old English V. Oh, that's that right there. Oh, like, sorry, it looks kind of like a pair of antlers, right. and then the uh, paw symbol is a Chinese character for that's heart. A, that's a paw? Well, it's a... It, it means heart in okay. Chinese it's characters. Okay. Well, but, uh, you know, inside every victory, you got to have heart. It, it's impressive. Um, how much did it cost? Uh, by the time I was done tipping the guys, it was 100 bucks. 